Hello everybody, we are Sorted Food and this is the Fridge Cam. This is our final Chef vs Chef battle of 2017. Welcome to the final battle of the series. This is the ultimate ramen battle and the stakes have never been higher. If you've been following Sorted on season three, then you'll be aware of our brownie leaderboard. Today is Ben's last chance for brownie points. Ben is just three and a half points behind Jamie, who today isn't here because he's doing this. <laughs> I'm not doing another one of these. Someone else has got to do one. So to spice things up today, double brownie points on offer and additional brownie points given for roasting. Let's get it on! It's the final chef v chef battle of 2017 and I feel like I've had a bit of a mixed bag. My best is yet to come. It's been a long series. It's been an epic series. We're pretty much level pegging, so everything rides on today. Today we're cooking ramen and I think we both love ramen, but Ben, I don't know if anybody's heard, but Ben has been to Japan and tried ramen. First off, I'm in a massive predicament. I have no problem with losing to James. He's a great chef. I cannot lose to Jamie. I'm not 100% sure what absolute traditional ramen tastes like, but what I'm hoping to deliver with this is depth of flavor, like just bags and bags of flavor, and I know the guys love that. And we've just heard this is the roast edition. So given that ramen is all about boiling and bubbling and simmering and steaming and slow cooking, I feel like someone's misread the brief. Ben and I are just really, really nice guys, you know? Um, so extra points for roasting is gonna go really badly for both of us. I feel like when James and I roast each other, it's less of a third degree and more of a, ooh, that was warm. I have one tactic up my sleeve. James had a quite a heavy night last night. He's feeling a little delicate. Is there any place to be entering into a ramen battle? My bowl of ramen is a pork tonkotsu. So we're using lots of different parts of pork plus some chicken carcass to make an incredible broth with belly pork that's gonna melt in your mouth, a soy marinated egg, noodles of course, and a few other little garnishes. But it's all about the flavor. And we're gonna start with that melt in your mouth pork belly. So this is a rolled piece of pork belly. I'm gonna slowly cook in a pan with a lid with just three ingredients. Ginger, spring onion, and sake. Is that your own sake? Hmm? Is that your Japanese sake from Japan? The uh, container is, yes. You seem nervous, are you okay? I was just trying to not lie to you, but stretch the truth slightly. It, this is from Japan. The contents I've had to refill several times with other sake because I enjoyed the first batch so much. You cheating scumbag. I am making the most amazing miso chicken ramen. And it starts with my chicken. I'm gonna take the skin off, take the breasts off, and roast the carcass and crisp up the skin in the oven. James, where did you get the, um, this, this skin technique? Where did you pick this up from? Uh, remember that battle recipe I wrote for you? Where no, no, no that, you... Wasn't, that wasn't what I was getting at. Uh, You're meant to be roasting each other, not... Just... Chef, given this is the last time we get to fight against each other. Oh, oh thanks, oh, thanks Baz. guys. Mate, that's brilliant. Thank you so Cheers. much. Cheers. All the best. Back fight slightly. So what's happening here is that Ben has already done all his cooking two days ago. So actually what he's doing is just getting beers. Would you like a beer? I think we should cheers. Kenpai. Kenpai. Ben. You're looking fat today. Do I get a brownie point? <laughs> Hello darkness, my old friend. Take my longer. Did he just... <laughs> two trays. On the first one is my chicken skin between two sheets of baking paper. And then on the second one is my chicken carcass without the breasts, because I'm going to soy glaze the breasts afterwards. This goes in the oven for about an hour. So stock time, a nice big pot. We've got our chicken carcass. I've taken the good bits off the chicken. We'll save those for another dish. It's the flavor I want from the carcass, along with the trotter, which I've borrowed from James's uh, ginger pig escapade, and some pork bones. They go in, get covered in cold water, and brought up to a boil. What I've done is I've started my stock. So my chicken is in the oven, but I'm gonna prepare everything else so the carcass can just go straight in, bring it up to the boil, and simmer it for three hours. So I've got kombu, porcini mushrooms, ginger, just sliced, uh, carrots, spring onions, I'm gonna put a whole bulb of garlic in there, and these, which are bonito flakes. So it's a sli slightly fishy, seaweedy flavor going in there. Three liters of water and that's gone, three hours, all done. 
James is absolutely right, you do want some of that roasted flavour. I'm not getting mine from the bones, I'm placing the onions into a really hot oven until they soften and go sweet like roasted onions, but more importantly, blacken. I want <laughs> three words to describe Ben Eberle and his dish, and the same for you. The best insult gets half a brownie point. Simple. Tourist been there once. How, how many words? Three, three words. Tourist. Simple and, uh, tourist. Safe. Tasty dishwater. Tasty dishwater. <laughs> Got the better I'm, reaction. I'm giving it to Ebers, half a brownie point. Oh. But that's what ramen is supposed to be. <laughs> my stock is on, it's time to make the marinade for my eggs. So all I'm gonna do is put tamari, which is Japanese soy sauce, into a small pan with some sugar and some mirin. Reduce that for five to 10 minutes, and then boil some eggs for six minutes or so. Peel them put the two together so the eggs marinate in the soy for a couple of hours. The problem is they float, so you need to put a little weight on them just to keep them down. There's mine. I know, I was just helping you out because I wouldn't want them to float and then you'd have little bits that aren't quite right. My marinade is soy and mirin. Equal Ch quantities. Chinese soy, Chinese soy, right? You're using Chinese soy, not Japanese soy. Correct. So I tried to pour a beer for James. You know, we can celebrate with the beer in the kitchen as we cook together. It was stolen by the boys. Then I realised they're judging. They're the ones we have to keep sweet. So I had a spare chicken breast. I know Mike likes his chicken nuggets. So I've made some Japanese style chicken nuggets with seven spices from Japan and panko crumbs. So the key to an amazing stock is not using the first batch of water. Because with all of those pork bones and the trotter and the chicken carcass, you get a lot of technical term, scum. So I'm going to drain the whole lot, wash the bones, wash the carcass, wash the trotter, and refill it in fresh water with all the aromats. So you get a much better stock. Miso, chicken stock, sake, and honey goes in the bottom of my ramen dish. So I'm going to like reduce it for a couple of minutes to spring all together. So all my meaty bits have had their first cook and boil. We've drained it, we've washed it. We're going to go in with fresh water along with leeks. Those now charred onions, mushroom stalks, umami, a bulb of garlic, and some shiitake mushrooms as well. So it's mushroom and pork and meat and onion. In eight hours time, that will be delicious. I have another bulb of garlic, and what I'm gonna do with this one is separate it into cloves, peel them all, and then kind of finely chop them. I'm gonna put quite a lot of rapeseed oil into a small frying pan, and then I'm gonna fry the chopped garlic but I'm gonna fry it way further than you would ever think to. I'm gonna add some sesame oil and chili paste. That goes into a blender and I just blitz it until it's really black and smooth and then strain it and we're done. I feel like James is already a bit bothered there's not enough going on over this side, so I might as well cook my eggs. Two eggs, these are Burford Browns with that really rich yolk and they want six minutes and 10 seconds. James, you're on a hangover, mate. Goodbye. Okay. What do you reckon, Mike? A little bit of wasabi mayo with these? Yeah. So this is the belly that we've cooked very, very slowly. It is melt in the mouth good. You haven't eaten it. You cannot cut that like that because it will just go bleh. So you put it in the fridge for 24 hours so that it's solid. Then you can slice it to the thickness you want, about a centimetre. And what you get is something that holds together and gives you pork belly. How good are you at martial arts? Oh, don't do this. Like what, like, don't if someone do wants to come at you really quickly, he's got a knife to your throat, what do you do? What do you do? In the kitchen. You're dead, you're dead. Ah, what is that? Ah, 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 oh no! <laughs> you underestimated that, how that situation What was that be? thing to my hand? Judges, my favorite people in the world, after many, many hours, needless to say, this one I made yesterday, we have a stock that is beautifully opaque and creamy. We're gonna drain it off into a colander, but for added purity, through a muslin cloth. So I've just heated up my water for the stock with all the flavors in it, aside from the chicken, which is now roasted. So I'm just gonna transfer that in, simmer it for three hours. Underneath, we have our crispy chicken skin, which I'm just gonna to transfer to a plate for it to cool a little bit, and it will crisp up even more. 
Eggs peeled, you can still see how soft they are on the inside. They are now gonna marinate inside of my soy liquid for about 24 hours. And that's because mine is soy and mirin and sugar, but then let down with water. So it's not as intense, but I want it in there for a longer period of time. What you get is the different textures of the egg as well as the flavor. Some sake for you. Honestly, mate, you should have left some cooking to do and then... Come by. <laughs> Play to your opponent's weakness. And if you were suffering at all this morning when you started this, how's it going for you now? Has, has the hair of the dog helped you? Because I'm only here to help. I'm going to now cook my chicken breasts. So I'm going to seal the chicken breasts and then I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of my soy marinade, which I did the eggs in. And then I'm just going to keep turning my chicken breasts. So they're going to get a really nice soy glaze over them. They're going to be really brown on the outside. My stock has all the umami of the meat, all the fragrance from the ginger and the spring onions. But now I'm going to add in the seasoning, which for me is soy sauce, a little bit of sesame and miso paste. Do you know, if anything's going to make you fat, it's pork ramen, pork belly ramen. Oh, I wouldn't have that in my body. Squirrel, anyone? <laughs> These battles are not about shouting. You've got to underplay it. You've got to deliver on the, the thought process, the planning. What show do you watch? <laughs> the loud cat doesn't catch the mice. Oh, that's why he was, he literally just spent five minutes building yeah. up to a proverb. Oh, that's all you were trying to do. He spent the last year voting for every single battle that Jamie's ever made. <laughs> and he's going, the loud cat doesn't catch the mice. What about the giant cat, the wide cat, the bearded cat, the boring cat? Starting to pull together some of the flavors that are gonna garnish the dish. So finely, finely chopped raw spring onion, some enoki mushrooms, some dried seaweed. Again, that's been julienned. And now for the pork. So far, pork belly that melts in the mouth. Now we want the crackling. Don't get any closer, take your bum fluff off. I love fire. James was worried that I wasn't roasting off the bones. This is where the roasting flavour comes, and it has a similar element to the black garlic that he's doing. Right, I'm going to char grill some spring onions. They're going to be like super smoky. I'm also going to put some fresh spring onions on the dish to give that kind of fresh, smoky, savoury, slightly sweet, bit of chilli, like all the flavours going on. I think ramen's personal. When you go into a ramen joint, you can ask for extra spicy, extra garlicky, you can ask for extra bits on the side, but you can also affect the broth, even though the base has been going for 24, 48 hours. So how do you want it? I, I'm a sweet and spicy person. I'm a salty, savoury person. <laughs> then I'm going to play to your tongue. <laughs> because I'm not putting any spice anywhere near this. <laughs> you always play to Mike's tongue. No, he doesn't. He always plays on Barry's tongue. No, he knows your tongue better than Barry. I know Barry's tongue better because I have been feeding him my produce for longer. Oh, what? <laughs> you were nearly saving yourself. Careful, mate. He's feeding you his produce. Your produce tastes spectacular. <laughs> it's not the first time I've been told that. Once my chicken stock has simmered for three hours or so, taste it, strain it, and then I'm ready to plate up. It's not bad. The soy just starts to cure the outside, but the inside is still super soft. So I'm just gonna finish off my flavor base. Um, bowl of ramen, about, I would say 250 ml, and you're supposed to use about one tenth flavor base to your soup. So I'm gonna put just over a tablespoon of miso in and I'm just gonna let it down with a little bit of the stock. So I'm gonna cook my noodles until they have just the right amount of bounce. We're probably looking at about three or four minutes. Drain them off in the bottom of the bowl and then layer up from there.
Okay, so what have we got here, guys? So here we have got a pork tonkotsu broth with soy marinated Burford brown eggs and a blow-torched mirin and sake belly pork. You're allowed to make a mess in a slurp, it's fine. That is excellent. Nice. Depthy. Wow. Benchmark has been set. Wow. This, this is going to be close. That is nerve wracking. This is a miso ramen with a chicken broth. That is amazing. Soy glazed chicken, charred spring onions, soy marinated egg, just like Ben, and chicken skin floating in the broth as well. Lovely. And the last thing that I didn't mention was this burnt garlic oil. It's got a little bit on it, but I'm just going to put a little bit more because I loved it last place time. Which is why stinks. Yep. That garlic is amazing. That's a new flavour of garlic that I have never experienced before. I would say that that is more delicate in flavour, but it's really light and it's delicious. What I'd say about that is that is really, really deep and meaty. Yeah. I think that there isn't a right or wrong answer here. Like this is going to be completely subjective. Yeah, no, completely. I think I know which one yeah. I'd prefer to order. Well, before we allocate a winner, I yeah. think, firstly, you've given Ben an extra half, half a point. Yeah. I'm going to give Ben an extra half a point for the nugs. So in order to give this final battle some jeopardy, I would say that you have two brownie points to give. Okay. I have two brownie points to give. Therefore, if we both agreed on Ben's, he'd win. Yep. Last time, with our grilled cheese battle, we gave you guys the chance to vote in a poll. Unfortunately, we're not going to do that this time because we need to wrap this up and plan heaven and hell now. So, sorry about that. <laughs> so we're going to wrap this up today. Okay, so on. we've got your vote. You decided? I'm gonna, no, I'm going to need one more taste. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Let go. Okay. You made your decision? Yep. I would like to reward both of my brownie points to the bowl of ramen that really took my breath away. As a man who is not a massive fan of ramen, this, I think, has swayed me. Ben, have my two brownie points. Wow. That was spectacular. I also am going to award two brownie points to that because I love that because I love chicken. I just want you to know that that <laughs> is world class. Was it the nugs that swayed you? But <laughs> that was without doubt the hardest judging oh, yeah. I've ever had to do. That's a serious battle. 24 hours is still down to one bowl. It's a lot of effort for a soup, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Two of the best ramen dishes I've ever, ever eaten. Agreed. And Ben, congrats. You're about to receive your yes, food ramen. heaven. Four and a half more ramen. I reckon we should both go to Tokyo. Oh, I'll you. have a bowl of ramen and I'll get you some smelly fish to eat while we're there. And I'm a whole with you, so it really is hell. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the winner here, and we've got the loser there. Right. So our next step is to create Food Heaven and Food Hell, which you can see coming to the channel very, very soon. Why soon? Do you mean Wednesday? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the brownie board wrapped up. That is a fair, fair final score, I think. If Jamie had won that, it would have been a travesty. That is very true. What, you're saying that you coming last is fair? Thanks to everyone who got involved in helping us shape Barry's Don't hell thank them. and Ben's heaven. Um, tune in next week. That's oh, when we're going to see the results. Suck. Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favourites.